I would like to see that I think for us to talk about, and I saw it a little bit down here, but I'm not sure how this would go about. So let me say it now. I do think the person who serves in the interim should not run. The reason I'm saying this is because during this five-month period, or six, however much, how many months it is, they need to be focused on what's going to be happening and the resources that are in and out, going in and out. They've got to pay attention. If you've got someone who tends to run, they're going to be focused on getting elected the next time. So I do think if there, if there is somebody who wants to be appointed in the interim, they should not run for the council sheet. We'll address that in the pros and cons. Okay. I didn't All right, I'm going to go back here and then I'm going to go on this side. We're, we're talking right now of characteristics and skills. I know. I, I think we skipped no, C. C? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, type of work experience. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So what type of work experience would you like to see? No, I mean, as a group, we didn't talk about it. Okay. Good question. Thanks for checking. Appreciate it. <laughs> type of work experience, does that matter? Does that matter? If it matters, so most people are saying no. Does it matter? One person. <laughs> so raise your hand if you think the type of work experience matters. Yeah, I think it does. Yes. Yeah, work experience matters. Yeah. Yeah. Nine people. <laughs> I will repeat. Does the type of work experience matters on this individual who's going to take the seat? Whether they're a bookkeeper, whether they're an accountant, whether they're a first responder, whether they're a teacher, whatever. Does that matter? Take my vote. 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 Take um, the type of work experience uh, matters based upon the fact that the cross section of the neighborhoods of Eastside San Antonio means that you will be represented more than one working class of people, whether it is uh, master electricians or whether it's school teachers or teacher's aides or whether it's persons with accelerated degrees. That type of work experience comes within an organization or it comes within cross sections of the community. So and the short to, version of? You have to be able to work with various different levels of people. So it doesn't matter? It, it doesn't matter to some, but it matters to a certain degree as to how successful the person is going to be. Because in that position, you're going to have to pull together various different levels of people. So if you only have a bookkeeper's experience, or you only have you know, a custodian's experience, you're not going to be able to do the same thing because you haven't had that point of reference of the work experience. So it does matter. So, one second, one second. I think this is a great dialogue. I get a gentleman in the corner, and then I'll get you this. Gentleman in the corner, you raised your hand. I, I was on the city council in another city, and, uh, oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm used to talking to a bunch of people. I used to work for the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. And I lecture people, uh, you know, 50 or 60 at a time. So I have a ten tendency to not need a microphone. Uh, I was on the city council in another city, and at the time I worked for the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. And that really had nothing to do with my duties as a council member. A council member is part of the city council. They have to agree with each other no matter what kind of work they do in order to get anything accomplished. Beautiful comments, sir. I love to have two different sides of the equation so everybody can make their own decision. So Liz and then this young lady here. Going back to the work criteria, in the totality of the person, the actual physical, I don't know if I need that either. Um, in my opinion, Work experience can be substituted for community work, board work, previous council experience. Because remember what we're trying to do here, in my mind, is hold the place until those best candidates decide what they're going to do and bubble to the top. That's what I'm looking at. So the totality. Yeah, the entire person. If you've got some community experience, if you're well known, if you've gone to citizens to be heard, if you've been a previous council person, 
if you don't want to run because you don't need a job, I'm looking at you. That's the one I can't vote on now. <laughs> I want the best candidate to come forward in May to serve the district for the next two years. See the beauty of dialogue? You got all kind of views. Just wonderful. Just y'all wait here, and then we'll close this session out. No, right here. Okay. So their work experience and their work experience. Stand up to the folks in the back and hear you. Work experience or the type of work you do cannot dictate whether or not you would be a good council member. Right. If a janitor wants to fight for the community I live in, then yes, please, Amen. by all means, do it. Yeah, because that CEO may not really be interested. Mm -hmm. It's not about what it is that you do for a living. It's what you want to do so we can live better. Mm -hmm. oh, so to say like a person oh. or what job you had, that's almost class. It's like, oh, no, a teacher can't do that or a janitor can't do that. If that teacher or that janitor wants to make this to a better place, then they absolutely can do that. Right. So the fact that a person has worked in their life is important. But what type of job they do is not really all that important because it's not what they have done, it's what we need them to do that matters. And I would rather a person not have such a demanding job because I need them, their focus to be on this too. Right. So Thank you. You got to call in a few days to help the people. I need you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Go ahead. We've got this young lady right here. The only thing I would say is not about work experience. I agree with you 100%. I just want to make sure that the person that we choose isn't beholden to like their previous work as far as I'm thinking like real estate developing, um, where it, like it might take advantage of residents um, because that's something that's really important to me is to make sure that the person is working on behalf of the district and the community and not necessarily on previous um, you know financial interests that they might have. So I think that that's really important to consider that which would be the only type of work experience I think would be something worth noting is like what is it what do people stand to personally benefit from the people have spoken the people have spoken so i'm going to re rephrase the question have one question. point just one point very short go for it sir. six members of the city council are going to make this appointment in january correct they're either going to make it with this community support or not mm -hmm. correct and that's why it's so extremely important what you are doing because I, for one, am sick and tired of six other people not related to District 2 at all making selections about who our leaders are. Thank you. We'll get back to our agenda. Appreciate right. that, sir. Okay, I'm off time. All right, so we're going to read. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. With regards to the economics, I heard people say that the leadership doesn't matter with regards to certain experience level. Most of you are aware that there are 35 different tours in the city, 35 of them. District 2's TERS, which is remembered by District it's 1 as well. Describe the TERS. Describe the TERS. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Don't make any assumptions. Okay. Okay. The, uh, the short version can't. The short version. The short version. The short version. <laughs> okay, the short version. Um, tax increment finance level. There's 35 of them. Reinvestment. Oh. There's 35 of them. The one in District 2, the inner city TERS, is the largest. It has $18 million in it. Okay. So what you need to understand, your leadership person, the person we select, not just this five months, but going forward, quarterbacks, they are the chairperson or lady of that seat. They control the economics. The reason why we have so many problems in District 2 besides the crime element is that we don't have enough money circulating in our community. That's right. We've got to turn up the fire or get more money circulating in our community. The tourists can do that. So that person, he or she, is very important, and they need to understand how the terrorists work. Because if not, then staff will just influence your decisions because you won't be sharp enough to move money to the street of District 2. Mm -hmm. Well, then we just have to make them smarter about what that is. It's right. not that easy. It's it not is that easy. That you can't, no, just, no you debate, can't just make it. No debate. No you debate. can't just make it because there are certain guidelines that the terrorists have. So we have to know the game before you get to the Thank table. Thank you, kid. You express yeah. yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. <laughs> Okay, y'all heard the valuable discourse. Beautiful discourse. That's just, you know. So now let's get back to the question. And the question is the type of work experience. 
If you are in favor of a certain work experience, please raise your hand. If it doesn't matter to you, you keep your hand down. If you're in favor of a certain work experience, raise your hand. The majority said they don't care. Okay. You got that? Doesn't matter. Work is a type of. Doesn't matter. Let's close that part of it. So the summation of it is that we want someone with at least a high school diploma. We want someone that is full time on a job, don't have a second job. Okay. Someone who has knowledge of the community. The length of residency is at least 10 years, anywhere from 6 to 10, wow. okay? They've provided services in the district. They've also, uh, the non-political service doesn't matter. That community service, that activist or whatever, okay? And they have good communication skills. Are we all in agreement? Yes. yes. Those are in agreement, raise your hand. We have unanimous support for what we just laid out. That is what we want to move forward to the council as part of our group really, in terms of what we're looking for. I have a quick question. What's you know what would be helpful yeah. too? When people talk, say who you are. No, I don't. I don't. I don't like immediate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead then. I'm sorry. Um, go ahead. So Anonymous. what's going to happen to the staff? We're not worried about the staff. Hey, staff. Yes, we are. I, I, I am worried about staff. I am worried about because. <laughs> they are the right hand of mm -hmm. uh, Sean, and they have been the ones that have helped us tremendously. Mm -hmm. They have and it's just sad. So, what's going to happen to them? I believe, you know, first of all, I can't stay here to stand in front of you and say, the, the, the guarantee anything. But I think if that's one of the issues that fits on the others, that we'd like to have staff maintained. Okay, okay. let's Thank put you. that as one of the other desires. He has no chief of staff. And so we would want that person to do their best to employ the existing staff. So beautiful. Okay, all right, I'm sorry. I got caught up in the moment. All right. But let's listen to the question. There's going to be two questions. Is there a desire to ensure that our new District 2 leader keeps the staff in place or not and just do what they need, they, you know, select who they want? All right, so the first question is the existing staff, we will put forth to that whoever selected that they maintain the existing staff. If that is your desire, raise your hand. Barbara, are you talking about in the interim? The interim. Yeah. That, that's all we can talk about. In the interim, keeping your existing staff. Unanimous decision. Keeping the existing staff. Okay. Yeah, the interim. As long as they're comfortable. Let's put the cap. Let's put the cap down. As long as they're comfortable. Now I'm gonna keep you. And if. If you're not carrying on my directives, then we may have some issues. Uh, okay. All right. Our, one meeting, please. We want to respect the process. Mr. Councilman in the corner and Mr. D. Okay. Right. All right. Beautiful. Any other issues? That's why I love community input because <coughs> those things we don't think about are able to rise to the top. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Okay. Did you say that the person can't have another job? Right. We want them to focus 100 percent on this particular. <coughs> That's our asking a lot. All right. Well, the majority says. Uh, I think that we need to put a priority on the type of issue that uh, District 2 is... That's next on the agenda. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. All right. If you look at item number seven, ranking of community issues. We passed out some little sheets so we can collect. But as you can see, and guess what? We've got the word other. So if there's other issues you think are important, we want to address those also. So we're going to go through this pretty quickly because we really want to get to some folks who have an interest in running are here. And you may be able to hear from some people um, that uh, have an interest. 
for those of you who think housing is priority number one, raise your hand. Come on now, people. Housing. Some of y'all been influenced, okay. <laughs> number one. Is it your number one? Is it your number one issue? Okay. All right. You got that number, Norma? All right. When you say housing, that's pretty boring. All right. Let me find a little bit better. I think that's a great, great clarification. Affordable housing. Yeah. Yeah. Affordable housing. Okay. Show, of hands again. Show of hands for affordable housing as your number one. As your number one. Let's be clear. As your number one. And the things that go with that. Not yes. just affordable housing, but the stabilization of long term residents and the stabilization. But affordable of housing. housing. Yeah. Thank you. All right? All right, we got a number? I mean, that's part We're of talking your right? number one is property tax reform. Property tax reform. Is that your number one? You got two number ones. I've got a couple. Okay. <laughs> hey, we've been headless for a minute. All right. Property tax reform. Your number one. Number one. I'm, I'm surprised there's more. Well, I'm the way that property tax does influence housing, right? Yeah, these into affordable housing. I think that needs to be a little bit more of a. But that's getting into the weeds now. Once we talk about, no doubt they come together. Taxes and property is the one of the same. What I'm saying is, let's talk about your number one. Okay. Your number one that we need to address: property tax. I need to see the list again. All right, you got your number. Okay, everybody, property tax. Representative Hawkins. You're number one. All we're looking at is issue yeah. ranking. That's it. it. We can get in more discussion in a minute. All we're looking at is issue ranking. Mm -hmm. You want this individual to focus on property tax reform. Is that the number one issue? May, 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 I, may I ask something? Um, is it possible for you to list a few of those? Because what we're starting off with only one to consider. They're on here. Right. They're on here and they're on here. They're on the checklist. They're on two pieces of paper. That's what happened when you come late. Please don't. 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 Property taxes, that's more of a state yeah. influence, right? Versus a, a local. Working together. Working local together local with the city. Local school district. Local school district. Yeah. Property taxes, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, several entities. Yes, ma'am. You know right how now you do it. Did you sign in? The issues with the right book here. court, okay. maybe I can do a good clarification. I'm, I'm very sorry. Yeah. 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 The issues we want to put forth, our new uh, district two leader, and some priority items and how they should be ranked. Okay? Representative. Yes, yes, sir. The number one issue for me is the hospital. We don't have a hospital. So that's another. That's, that's another thing. Hey, how you doing? Right? I'm doing fine. But now remember that if you're number one, we're getting the group think going on. Thank you for that, though. We, so we added it to the list. In this area, in district two, we don't have a hospital. We've added it to the other. Thank you for that, sir. Appreciate you. Number one issue for you as it is jobs. Okay. Number one issue for you, criminal justice reform. I would like to mention something here. Uh, people who can afford to post bonds, they post a bond and then they, they show up. So it's criminal justice reform. At the top of your list, we're going to get into the weeds in a minute. Yeah. Okay, so your you hand is up. Okay, so. You go to jail. Yeah. We need a count. Criminal justice reform is your number one. Great. Community slash economic development is that your number one? Your number one. Yeah, it is. 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 Yeah
All righty. So we can't do any narrative right now. Okay. Like, right. Okay, okay, what, okay. what we're attempting to do is a systematic approach to get through an agenda. All right. Oh, well, once we systematically that. get through our agenda, we can have all the sidebar conversation mm -hmm. and an additional conversation during discussion. But if we get into sidebar conversation, we never do what? Get through the agenda. We got six minutes to do that. Okay. Six minutes before what? Ten o'clock. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we got a lot of time for conversation because it's good conversation. Something that's not on your agenda we want to add is your number one streets of drainage. Streets and drainage. So infrastructure. Yeah, we'll put it in. No, it's on this. Uh, it's on your past all list. The agenda in the past all list a little different. Uh, infrastructure. Okay. Hands. Hands for infrastructure is your number one. Okay. Sidewalks. Oh, we are good. All right, we're going to do community and economic development, and then we're going to go to Dan's deal hospital slash health. Of course you can. Uh, homelessness. Homelessness. Ooh, that's a great word. Mm. Okay, that that's number one. Well, anyone for homelessness as your number one. Okay. I'm changing mine. I want to be with her. <laughs> <laughs> Let's count this first and then we'll get into yeah. this too. Whenever you raise your hand to ask a question, I'm actually okay. okay. counting this. No, don't count me. Okay, okay. okay. homelessness? Two. 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 Okay, got it. Three. 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 Okay. Mr. Dawkins, you had a neighborhood crime. Shootings. Well, that goes under criminal justice. Criminal justice. Reform, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Criminal justice reform. It, it's a big on problem. Okay. okay. It's a big on problem. Under these are subcategories. Okay. 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 Chuck, did you have a, uh, any other you wanted to add? Poverty. Poverty. Put poverty. Are we going to add these in? Put poverty. He, he, he said poverty. I agree with that. Yeah. All right. I see a young lady here. Development. Okay. Like new yeah. buildings and economic development. Does that go along with like city codes and infill development and community development? Yeah. 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 All, all the subcategories that go work. Are we going to turn these in? You will. Okay. So, so the question one meeting. One meeting. The question oh, is, sorry. are you going to turn these in? You're absolutely going to turn these in. Please. Okay. And you can do it anonymously. See, we didn't put your name on All right. All right. Any other issues? Drug dealers. Other criminal justice. Criminal justice. All right. So we're moving through our agenda. Item number eight. Woo. All right. Let's talk about, so the summation again. The, the issues of priority, it looks like affordable housing was number one, community economic development was number two, workforce development and job, oh, I'm sorry, criminal justice. criminal justice reform was number three, workforce development slash jobs was number seven. Seven? Seven. seven. The next one. Number four. Number four, I'm sorry. And uh, infrastructure. Infrastructure. Number five. Okay. So we want to put those four as the, what the community has spoken. All right. Um, item number. Any other issues before we move on? We're going to move on from this. Yes, sir. It may come under community and uh, economic development, but what I believe uh, our council person should do is be able to hold the residents accountable for the resources that already exist and that are coming in to the east side and to district two. So somebody give me a subheading for that. Somebody help me out. Accountability. Okay. Citizen accountability and involvement. There needs to be checks and balances anyway, or we wouldn't be having this. Let me think about that one. <laughs> Community engagement. Yeah. Uh, we had education. Yeah, I, I hear you, Mr. Mims. I'm just trying to figure out what's the, the yeah. subheading. And, and I need help. But, but, you know, what I see in our community is there are resources that have been 
put in place by both political and other leaders and other organizations in our community and we want more without using the one the resources that we already have. Here. So, so it's maximizing our existing resources. Right. Okay. 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 And so we need to so we nonprofits accountable. That's what we're doing. Holding nonprofits accountable. Well, not just nonprofits, service providers in general. Right. But that's what they're referring to. So it's accountability. All right. Emerging yeah. leaders yeah. coming out right here. It's the Got it. Accountability. And then one other thing we forgot, which was a big one. Nobody brought up, yeah. I'll, I'll get you in just a second. Education. Yeah. Education. Okay, young lady. Just to uh, uh, clarify a little bit more as to what I'm uh, 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 interpreting from what Mr. Mims is saying. Um, with the, I'm thinking more of uh, monitoring and evaluation of programs, right? We've got a lot of resources in District 2, um, but a lot of that may have come from places where in which we thought of a good idea in a silo and we didn't make accountability right if, if it's, it's under like a monitoring and evaluation if it's under accountability yes yeah, yeah, that's something for accountability oh, thank you Beverly? yeah I, 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 I did want to just divert a little bit from what Mr. Ben said the reason why I said maximizing our resources because what we end up doing is duplicating a lot of what we have and then we have a little bit of stuff going on that does, that is barely eking out living so right. that's why I'm saying maximize what we got, figure out how we do that so we get stronger in doing what we do. And, and I'll tell you how we can get that done, okay? I think it is important that our elected leadership, our organizational leadership, our HOAs, we have if not at least a monthly or bi-monthly or quarterly meeting, need to come together and guess what? Create good communication. That's right. Okay, so put that on there, communication. That our leaders... The, the citizens of this community should mandate that our leaders come together and have dialogue so that we can do the things that you're talking about. So people are not working in silos, but are working together for the greater good. Mm -hmm. Sister Gabriella, you look like you're about to bust out of the <laughs> <laughs> well, This is what I want to say. I'm here with Sister Gabriella. I live here in the neighborhood. And I apologize for being late. And I didn't mean to be respect disrespectful. But I got lost. Can you believe it coming from my house? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm looking at, and I'm looking at the postcard. Oh, we yes, are, yes. Uh, oh, I'm terrible, so just let me sit down. We, everything is three and two and one and seven. We are not organized ourselves. We should have this meeting, one, thank you, sir. We should have a meeting like this once a month. That's right. You know, this That's is what's right. wrong here. That's we right. all, one wants education, this one wants that, and, and I'm, I'm on all sides. I mean, I want everything for here. But we need, the first thing we need to do is get somebody in this neighborhood, uh, or I don't, maybe we don't need, come here and fight. And when they ask us questions, heal. I wouldn't put anybody in that city council that wouldn't stand up to talk. Yes, we need to tell everybody. You know, a lot of you to call me. I got three or four calls to be here. But we, but we need, you know, I'm not going to run. Yes, let's do it. So I can't run. <laughs> but, and I don't, you know, but we have wonderful people here in this east side. I know a lot of you, and you know me, but we need to stand up and if you're not standing up in this room, you ain't gonna stand up in City Hall. It's an umbrella for 16 homeowners associations, 
and it's already there. All you got to do is attend the meetings. The last Thursday of every month. Is it only for homeowners? Is it for all residents or just homeowners? Two all and three, right? All residents. Right. 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 All residents. Right. 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 We got to get our. We got a train full of Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Um, we're gonna go to question number eight, and then as we dive a little deeper, uh, Rose put a little bird message in my ear and some things we're gonna talk a little bit more about. All right. Let's look at item number eight. If you have your agenda. Willingness to serve until May or after. So let's take a minute. Let's let's, let's keep our our, our pot of dry now before we make a final decision. Let's make sure we're very strategic here. Let's talk about the pros and the cons to someone just serving in the interim or someone who's looking at the interim and long term. Now, I'm not going to take any questions on this one. We're going to do a, what we call a round robin bullet. And you stand up, you put your position, and then we'll add it to the list. All right. We're going to address the pros first. The pros will be just serving in the interim only and, and not wanting to run for the long term. What's the pros to that? Please be recognized through your hand. Not no one screaming out. You ready? Excuse me. Uh, yeah. some, that someone I know, someone, a previous person said she wouldn't run and then she did. <laughs> yeah, but she's not here today. I'm saying <laughs> that. They changed their mind. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> they lied. Okay. Who want to put it very gently? Be sure. Be sure of your position. I love that, Rose. Thank you. Beverly? Well, since I brought this up, the reason why, and I too. You're talking accept, the pros now. Pros. 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 Pros, as you said earlier. Pros, and I'm going to do pros to only be for yes. the interim. Yes. Yeah. They'll only work for the interim and not run off after. Right. Okay, then this is, I, then I'm speaking on the right point. I have been elected official as this gentleman has. I'm sure I've heard you. Sure. Okay. Oh, okay. What happens when people get there, They, if they are planning to run, they end up spending all of their time campaigning. And they will not make a decision. They'll be afraid of uh, which way to go. We need somebody very focused who can catch up. We're already behind the, the eight ball. So we need focused attention. So the pro and and we focus. can also then give us time to organize to really get a great candidate in for the long haul. Right? Isn't it just a few months that the interim? Yes, just a few Six months. They will be running in May. So it's four months. Six months. Six months when they are seated. They won't be seated until July. Is okay. okay. I mean, the, yeah, the new person will be seated until July. Any other pros to just serving in the intro? I heard what Beverly said was focused. Liz? Yeah, that would give the opportunity for the the entire community to see because we're we're hurting right now. We the are. opportunity for the entire community to vet the best candidates. Absolutely. Time um, to vet is a pro. Okay. Anybody else? You can also use it as a training if you want to run later on. Training is a pro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love the the, the the round robin here. Quick and easy. <laughs> Community engagement. Community? Community engagement. That's right. Four months. Okay. That's right. They get to know the community. All right. Pros to the ethnicity should not matter as long as you can do the job you're focused on the job. But it will matter. It will matter. It will matter. Hold on now, wait a minute. Everyone has their opinion. We're not gonna jump on people for opinion. Okay, thank you, ma'am. She said ethnicity. Okay. You don't have the ability to fundraise, so your interests are the community, not not other interests. I, I'm hearing a con. That's a con. Not ability a to fundraise. No, that's a pro. Because you're focused on the job. You're not holding to anyone. You know what? I can't hear 10 people. <laughs> okay? Could you please, Donovan, say what you're saying? Uh, fill in the vacancy. You're not... You can't uh, fundraise or have a treasurer, so you're beholden to the community. Not isn't that an assumption? Well, you can't, you can't, but your your position, 
can't focus on the You're not allowed to put it on the distraction. That keeps you focused. Hold up, y'all. Let's stay focused. I'm going to do my teacher stuff. Put a bubble in it, y'all. Put a bubble in it. Okay. So for clarity, what's possible? Um, it's on the but wait just a second. Go ahead, Donald. Can you I would say to fill the vacancy, you're not able to appoint a treasurer or to fundraise. So you're not beholden to any other interest but the community. But then if you're running a campaign, you you know you're taking checks from businesses or lobbyists or whoever. It's a pro. 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 But it's unsupposed. Right. Holding to the community. If he holding right. to the community is what he's saying. Yeah. All, all righty. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Thank you, Don. Appreciate it. Okay. Um, I was just reminded some people came in late. They need to know what we're doing. And we, we're looking at the interim position, the appointed position, the pros and the cons for whoever is selected be only looking at that interim position. Okay. Um, any other pro? Any other con? Since we're going back and forth. Liz, go ahead. I know you said you weren't going to answer a question, but do we actually have influence with Cruz on this selection process? I or do we need to all show up? I'm just asking. We have to do a combination. Okay. I believe that the voice of the people is important. Okay. And I believe that the councilman and the city council and the mayor will listen to the voice of the people. Now, they're the final um, decision makers. And I would hope that once the decision is made, they're able to tell the people why they made that decision. And that gets to our accountability piece. Thank you. Okay? Do they owe it to us? No. Okay? Well, I think but we can politely do. ask for it. Okay. Politely. Thank you. All right. You do the polite part, right? <laughs> well, you know what? No, it's the saying you get more with, with honey and sugar rather than vinegar and, and uh, salt and uh, what's that other thing? <laughs> All right, again. Any other pros and cons anyone wants to add? Okay, so summation. The pro is it allows this individual to refocus. It gives the community time to vet them. Uh, it's a training ground for them for the future. And they can be more community focused with the community engagement and not campaigning while they're there. Barbara, there, I'm sorry, this is very this correction. What Liz said was not time to vet. He said it will give time for the community to organize so we can actually find a great candidate for the long haul. Exactly. Well, but see, the other part about that, who's to say that the interim person isn't a great person either? Right. Yeah, but that so, interim I mean, person's got to make a decision. They're either serving the community or they're serving for the next position. Right. Which would be that's that, me. That, that's what she said. That's, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that's not what she said. All right. So right. there's differences of opinion. Yeah. <laughs> and that's good. <laughs> that's democracy. Uh -huh. At work. Well, we're still talking about uh, well, let, Hold on one second, sir. We want to respect this individual speaking, sir. Are we still saying that uh, that interim person? cannot be elected further? Some people are saying, not everybody. Some people are saying that. Because that, that person could be the person we're looking for. Right. And it ought to be whoever's going to jump from that point on, you know. Then you let at the, the point that uh, they, they need to be elected, they should be considered with somebody else that thinks that they can do a better job. All that right, be that's, that. and that's a great, a great deal. And here's, I think, would be our statement to our uh, leadership was going to make that appointment. I want y'all to hear this good now. Is it the desire of the community that the individual who was appointed did not run in, in, in May, or we want to leave it open? You know what, what? We're going to take a vote. We're going to do the democracy. Okay? All right. I'll get you first and then Go ahead. You so, voting or what? She said she's good. Oh, okay. No, I just wanted to say that uh, if you have, that you can contact the other council people if you have an opinion oh, about Oh, she can. It. Yes, of course she can. Mm -hmm. 
I'm loving you out this morning. You're being good, aren't you? I think there's one thing that, that needs to be considered here is that it makes no difference. And the reason I say that is four months, I can't get my feet wet. I can't even learn the names of city staff within that period of time. So the bottom line is whether they run or not, they should be ignorant from day one, pretty much. Beautiful. So here's our vote. Here's our our, our unanimous, our hopefully, decision we move forward to the council. And Tyrone, I want you to put a piece of paper up there across, because we got to really count this. Okay. <laughs> Interim open. Interim only or keep it open. Okay, yeah. beautiful. And we want to be able to count your hands, y'all. Mm -hmm. Okay? Can, can I say something real quick? Of course you can. We, we keep saying four months, six months. The person who's, who wants to be the interim only really has one month to make the decision mm -hmm. because you have till February to oh, decide. Right. Right. So, so at the end of the day, it's really not an either or because that person isn't going to have time have to decide. Mm -hmm. so, so let's not look at it as they're in there for six months and then we're going to see if they want to keep the seat. It's really only about 30 days. Mm -hmm. So let's let's be realistic when we, when we think about how we're going to say interim only or keep it open. Mm -hmm. But today, we want to be able to give our electeds our opinion. Right. They're going to make the decision. But we uh, part of our voice is, as they're making their decision, and they will ask the person, do you plan to run in the future, right? Mm -hmm. And that person may say, no. And then come February 15th. Get it notarized. Okay? So, can we control that? No. All we're doing is trying to lay out desires. That's all we're doing. That's a, I'm, I'm seeing this question mark on your face there. No, no. I, I, I just have concerns about that interim person being kind of a lame duck, you know, where. I hear you. Until Limited. Until that time, I hear you. I don't have a vested interest beyond that. I got you. And yeah. then we have to restart again to try to find the right. person right. that we want in there. Yes, it is. We already have a low bar for for the leadership. You know, high school mm -hmm. education. That's right. We're going to be overwhelmed and struggling to figure out just what's going on. It's our position, you know, so. That's not fair. Okay. Not fair. It, it's not a matter of fair, y'all. One thing we've got to be clear in our community is we're moving forward, we're working together, and we're communicating. Everybody has their own opinion. Mm -hmm. And no one can say theirs is right and the other person right. is wrong, okay? We all have our opinion. And one thing we want to do in this community is respect everybody's opinion, whether we agree with it or not. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. So right. that we can continue to work together, not in anger or despair. Right. Okay? Yeah. I'm going to this lady over here, Sister Gabrielle, then I'll get you. Well, I think part of the, the concerns would be that the person that's going to come in as an interim has to be talented and effective to go in there right away because there's going to be very important issues right. during this time that if they're not effective and can get there and start doing the job <coughs> without the war that they're going to be attacked later that they might <coughs> run, it doesn't matter because if the people who might run later feel they can't put their name in the basket for the interim because they will be chastised because they're going to That's run, a point. then you're losing the opportunity of getting the most talented and the most right. effective person in there to get there and start voting on things that are so important to our district because they're dealing with budgets, they're dealing with issues regarding the economic development, they're dealing with homelessness right now, they're dealing with your parks, they're dealing with everything that has to the do with the The agenda is not stopping. The right. Yeah, the agenda is so not stopping. we stop. can't put that, that terrible situation from them. They're going to feel they're going to get attacked because they're in there trying to be effective, but then they'll, they can actually end up being attacked. Point well made, Sister Gabriella. I suppose my question would be, what kind of a person would go in for 30 days? Yes. Who wants to go in for 30 days? Ken, would you like no, that? No. no. I mean, we want a strong person that knows now what they want to do. Point well taken, Mrs. Gabriella. That's you. right. Uh, Picking back on uh, this uh, young lady, lady Jones, she said question or, or comment, the con of uh, selecting a person who only will be here for the interim. Promises to only be for the interim. 
is we limit the talent pool exactly. available. Mm -hmm. exactly. So y'all heard several positions of the map. So Are we ready to call, call for the vote. talent? Yeah. We're ready. Yeah. Yeah. Call the vote. Yeah. Mr. Mill, you have just been shut down. We're getting ready to call for the talent. Are we ready? Okay, we want to be clear. Do we want the person that serves in the interim to be limited from serving or, or being our candidate in May? Raise your hand if that's what you want. You want to put the interim person, you want to put limitations on them. Raise your hand. No one? No. Beautiful, unanimous. Oh, Beautiful. All right, okay, I love this. All right, so in summation, whoever runs for the interim has every right. To be our candidate in yes. that. Y'all right. yeah. heard that? Get that new opinion. Get that down. Unanimously. Okay. You talking to Sue Coward over here? Yeah. <laughs> that was a beautiful TV moment. I know it. I love it. I love it. That's perfect. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was item number eight on our agenda. Number nine goes to questions, and then number 10 is adjournment, and then guess what? Once we're, fi oh, announcements, and then when we're finished, you can go out in the parking lot and do all the talking you want. Okay? But one thing I can say is that I have enjoyed being here today. And I enjoy talking to the community. Can we do it again? <laughs> I think we should always be doing it. That's my desire. Okay. So, we're going to ask for, call for questions in a minute. Here, we're going to call it. Uh, before you go to questions, can we meet the persons who were, uh, you said were here that possibly going to run? This is after the questions. Oh, it's after the questions. After the questions. Okay. All righty. Uh, any questions? If y'all want to keep y'all questions low, we can get the people up. Go ahead, Steve. Thank you, Barbara. As, as a community organization that operates in District 2, the question I have for someone who would be running for District 2 would be, would they be willing to shift an overwhelming 80-90% city budget that's law enforcement heavy back into the community? Because we are funding mass incarceration and the public criminal justice system. And, and we know this to be true because you've had several presidents and other candidates to bring that up. So we have to come to the realization that we cannot continue to fund 80% uh, of our city budget and only 10 or 7% into the community. Thank you, Steve. Your organization that money. So that's what okay, I think. Thank you. That's good. Now, here's that's what good. we're going to do, because I think it's unfair to barrage people with a bunch of questions. But what we will do is this, since there is no other, we will allow people who are interested in running, and we'll give them a minute and a half just to introduce themselves to you. That's it. That way you can see those people of interest. Right. Yeah. Are we happy to go with that? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Knock it out. So for those people who have an interest in running for council, all right? Two minutes instead of a minute and a half? Two minutes. Well, you're not getting a minute and a half just so they can have 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, minute and a half.